and big damage. How's it going guys? Kastner here. Welcome to another episode of Risk of Rain 2. Uh, today we're going to be playing as the Artificer. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, he is the, or she, is the true glass cannon of uh, all the characters that are out right now. Uh, well and above the Mercenary and the Huntress. Um, every skill is doing damage. Uh, not a lot of mobility, but very, very heavy hits. A lot of area of effect damage. Um, in this one, we end up soloing uh, a boss in the uh, the ha 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 difficulty. Uh, it took a while, but we did it. But uh, without further ado, let's get into the video. Hope you enjoy. All right, so today we're going to be playing as the Artificer. Um, I unlocked them in my last playthrough. Uh, had to end up saving up 10 lunar coins and buying it from one of the special levels at the end. Oh, look at this guy back here being all fancy. Showing us all of his different people he's got unlocked. But uh, yeah, this one, as you can see from the skills on the left, is more of a uh, just glass cannon, all around DPS type build. Um, no mobility. Uh, whatsoever like no skills for mobility uh, the closest thing I think that you could call mobility isn't I mean, it's more of a crowd control than anything else uh, they got for your shift ability which as you can see I've changed to control it's this uh, ice wall that comes up you can pass through it but enemies uh, enemies can't really unless you put it directly on them in which case they uh, they just freeze. See if we can go ahead and grab this real quick. Get some gold. Nope. Just about. Maybe. Need to heal a little first. There we go. <laughs> now we're close to dying. One thing I did find very weird on this person though, this particular character, is their normal attack. It actually has charges so you can't just sit here and spam it as you can see in the bottom right it's got four charges available and uh, once you use those four charges you gotta wait for it to come back um, or just kind of work in your other skills the ultimate is a big flamethrower like this got to be kind of close to the enemy that you're using it on it doesn't do a lot of initial damage but it ticks uh, for damage over time and from what I can understand, I think that uh, damage over time actually stacks. So each individual burn stacks. And that's where you end up racking up some pretty fast damage. Uh, the right click is this like staticky bomb thing. Does a decent amount of damage. Does big AoE. And uh, the more you level up, just the greater that AoE is, obviously. Ooh, that was a lucky find right off the bat. And we get two lives. Um, one item in particular that I found to be really, really, really helpful with this class is the... Uh, uh, what is it? It's the additional clip or whatever. Looks like a little magazine that you pick up, like a gun magazine. And it adds an extra charge to your secondary, so your right-click ability. Because um, as you can see right now, you only have the one... But later on, uh, when you end up getting more and more and more, you can just fire those things off left, right, and center into big groups, and it absolutely shreds them. So it does damage to everything around it, and then also on impact, it will explode, which is awesome. But yeah, the uh, the just normal attacks, as you can see, they. They do your outright damage, but they also have this little burn effect that they uh, apply, which is pretty nice. So it seems like this character... I mean, yeah, they do a lot of outright damage. Oh, there's a chest right there. I'd rather get that. But they do a lot of outright damage, but as well, they do a lot of damage over time, which is... It's different, but it, it definitely works. Not sure why I used my ultimate right there. Bit of a waste. But uh, this person's cooldown rate is also significantly lower than the others, it seems. Like, they're meant to be spamming off skills. But 
but movement speed is something that you absolutely are going to need on this character because as you can see right now the base movement speed I mean while it's not bad it's not ideal either and uh, in the later difficulties you'll see you don't really have a means of escape I mean like your engineer he's got a shield he can at least hide under uh, your multi has a charge uh, the huntress has her little blink ability I mean everyone's got something whereas this character this character doesn't really have much in the form of uh, mobility it's just all about big damage, damage over time. Let's see if we can make it before they burn this guy down. I'd like to be involved a little bit. I understand that this is a lower difficulty, but I still like to feel important. But yeah, it, it does get kind of aggravating that your normal primary fire has charges to it. Because if you're anything like me, you're going to want to just sit and spam. When you, especially like when you get to bosses and stuff. And you can't really do that on this character. Oh, just an additional equipment charge. Don't even have an equipment yet. One thing I do like is that the ice wall, while it is pretty hard to dictate where you're going to place it down, it does do damage and it slows your enemies down. So pretty much every skill, kind of like the mercenary in that aspect, every skill is some form of damage dealer. And as you can see, I, I don't really have, well, I don't have any items that help me with damage whatsoever. And again, granted, this is a lower difficulty, but you can see that I'm, I'm doing a pretty decent amount of damage right off the bat. And I'm also very terrible at gambling. This guy's very eager to get going. It's fine. Maybe we'll get something in the next one. Yeah, this right here, this item, is what I found to be very, very helpful on this character. That additional clip thing. Let's see, maybe we can find one of those health sacrifice shrines. Get some gold real quick. As you can see, even though I was a terrible shot with my uh, right-click ability there, it still hit all the enemies that it passed by, which is really nice. Let's see if we can make it back there real quick and buy that additional clip that I was talking about. go now as you see my right click has two charges and the higher you can get that in my opinion uh, the better because um, especially when you get into the later levels where enemies are so closely grouped up it almost doesn't really matter which direction you throw it in because there's so many enemies that it's it's bound to hit someone if not a direct hit it'll definitely be at least the area of effect hit Go ahead and get this, get some gold. Hey, there's another one up here. That one's still at 50%, so if we could heal real quick. Ooh, 
Ooh, that. It's a little sketchy. Four health. Oh well. Now we can at least buy some chests if we find them. Just need to be able to get to them before they grab them all. Everyone else on this team has some sort of mobility. Seems like took a wrong turn. Nothing's down here. No, nothing around the corner. Ah, well, we'll get something. Eventually. Looks like an unopened chest down there, maybe? Nope, it's opened. Man, this guy is on top of it. He's not messing around. Grab that monster log, why not? Also, that right click ability has a, a bit of a stun too when it hits him, which is nice. That's why it's nice to use that later on, as I was talking about. Not only will it end up doing big damage, it stuns everything around your target if it hits. Hey, we couldn't find chests, so may as well gamble. I know it never really works out well for me, but gotta do something. I do know that we need healing in a bad way. We have nothing that heals us right now. I guess we'll gamble, unless this guy hits all of it. I think he's going to, though. Yep. There isn't very many chests on this playthrough. I don't know why. Usually at this level is where I get all my chests. Go ahead and do the challenge of the mountain. Nothing back there. Come to think of it, I haven't even seen the teleporter yet. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll go ahead and use it. Well, that was terrible. Already <laughs> used our second life because we decided to be greedy and get more gold. Awesome. Hey, there we go. Primordial Cube. This item is actually really, really nice on this character. Because as you can see, the, uh, this character has a lot of area of effect abilities. So, again, talking late game, drop this uh, active, sucks everything into it, and then you just unload with your, uh, with your right click or even your little flamethrower ability and just burn them down. I've just never seen a map this, this empty when it comes to chests and stuff. It's crazy. I know it's early difficulty, but still... Usually there's something. I look like they found something over there. I still cannot believe I used that already. That's insane. Not a good start. Alright, let's go ahead and head over here, help out our allies. Man, there's a chest hiding under here. Go ahead and burn this guy down.
Let's go ahead and drop the primordial cube. I don't think there's much over here that I can pull in. But why not? I haven't really found a good like go-to combo, like what order to use the skills in. It's mostly just use whatever's active. Every skill is going to be big damage. I mean, aside from your wall, but your wall still does a decent amount of damage. The only little helpful bit of information, skill-wise, I could say is use your flamethrower whenever possible. I mean, don't waste it on single targets like I've been doing, but in boss fights, just anytime possible, go ahead and throw it out. Got two each on that one. Nice. I'll take the Queen's Gland. Why not? Guess it doesn't really matter who takes it. Either which way, it gives us a little ally to help fight. I think they cleaned everything out, to be honest. I don't think there are any more chests. happy I got that primordial cube on this one I don't have to keep trying to look for it still can't believe we died already that's so stupid and it doesn't even go away either it stays right there so we know it stays on our items bar see if we can make it over here to this uh, sacrifice shrine real quick. I'm sure the mercenary will probably beat us there, but unless I go for the other one. Yeah, it looks like they're splitting off going for the other one. Uh, we'll go ahead and risk it. Why not? Chance to stun on hit, I'll take it. Just about took some big damage there because we decided to be greedy. Come on, we need some heals. We have like no heals at all. Oh, nothing good back here. Ah, good try. He almost got me. I'll go ahead and take it. I need some form of heal. Uh, somebody got the radar. Show me the chess. There we go. Go ahead and drop this primordial cube. See if we can pull some stuff in there. And big damage. Missed that wall completely. One thing I do kind of find to be a little annoying, but I understand why it happens. If you sprint when you have your flamethrower going, it just cancels your flamethrower. I mean, I get why it happens, because it slows you down, but there's a lot of times I forget that I'm actually doing the flamethrower. And, uh, I end up canceling it, so. That can always be a little annoying. Looks like they got everything up here. I think we'll go ahead and risk it. Grab this. We need the money. Thought there was another chest back here that I hadn't opened yet. Yeah, there it is. And as you can see, I mean... 
we're only in the very hard difficulty. But I still don't have all that much, like, damage dealing wise. And I'm still doing pretty good. It's like one skill per enemy, pretty much. Like one full charge. If that makes any sense. I mean, I am stacking up quite a few bleeds. I will say that. Hopefully there's a chest up here. Or something. Because we need something. Uh, go ahead. Summon some stone golems. Why not? More money. Go ahead. Primordial cube. Hold those guys in there. Half tempted to open up one of those lunar things, but I really do not want to waste my coins. Hard enough to find as it is. Now you got this guy over here. I already got an unstable Tesla coil. Actually goes well with him though, because he's going to be in melee range a lot. Hoping these are unopened, but I think they're open. I know that one is. This one's unopened. Nice. Rechargeable shield. Oh, I was hoping he'd burn down. Almost, not quite though. And melt this guy. Yeah, they are on it with these chests. They understand where they spawn a little more than I do, though, which is fine. I'll learn eventually. That gas will be nice. Because again, even though I'm pretty undergeared, I'm doing a decent amount of damage, so... It goes hand in hand with the, uh, the Primordial Cube combo. Go ahead, try it out. Pull them all in. Nuke them all down. really need some mobility because those little laser sight things that the golems have going on are eventually going to be hitting me for pretty high damage. I'm barely outrunning them as it is. Most of them I'm actually not outrunning. I'm just kind of eating them and hoping for the best. Go ahead and pull everyone into that that I can. Burn this guy a bit. Primordial cube right there. Start burning. Critical strikes increase attack speed. Why not? This guy I tend to uh, focus a lot harder with. That's why I'm not talking a whole lot. Because he... I thought the mercenary was a glass cannon, but this guy... Or girl, even. I'm not entirely sure. This takes a whole new meaning to glass cannon on this game. I 
I don't really want to open that, but I think I better not, honestly. We'll get geared eventually. I'm not worried about it. I know that this level is going to hurt pretty bad, though. The burning damage that all the enemies do here is pretty rough. Go ahead and activate this. Drag everybody in, and big damage. As I was saying, once you get people grouped up and you use that secondary skill, you just do so much damage, it's incredible. And coupled with things like the uh, like the gas can and stuff, when you end up killing one enemy, it just explodes, which does damage, or does damage, which does damage to another, which explodes, does damage to another. It's a chain reaction, it's pretty vicious. Block them off, see what we got over here. We'll gamble, why not? Okay, ukulele. Little lightning that bounces between enemies, why not? Oh, can almost afford that. I can burn things too. How about that? We really, really need some heals though. It's one thing I am just not finding in this playthrough. Usually by now I'm pretty stacked on heals. Go ahead. Primordial cube. Uh, we didn't get a whole lot on that one. I do like the little damage over time that our main attack has. It may not do a, dun a ton of damage outright, but it definitely helps. Uh, Leeching Seed is actually a, a really good item to have on this character, because as you see, they do a lot of area of effect damage. Uh, we're not going to be that guy. Although we probably should have, because that ceremonial dagger would help out quite a bit as well. But as I was saying, the leeching seed helps out quite a bit because all of our skills do damage, obviously. But they do like an area of effect damage. So, even when we're just throwing stuff at people, even if they don't kill them, it is going to be doing damage to them. Unless you miss every shot like that one. Go ahead and head over here, see if we can loot up. Buy a health turn, why not? We're gonna need it here for too long. We are not lucky. You'd think I'd learn my lesson and quit gambling. Oh, that's been opened. Let's see, we got some chests over here that haven't been opened. Nice. There isn't a lot over here, but let's see if we can group it up with one of our cubes. Just because it makes it easier to kill. Big damage. And now we definitely have enough to open this. Getting an extra jump. And mobility's nice. Mobility's always nice. I want to gamble. Mm, see? Such bad luck. I think I'd learn by now. There's a decent amount over here. Let's go ahead and primordial cube. And big damage. Grab this chest. 
extra boss damage. That's pretty much good on every character, though, to be honest. I don't know what character you wouldn't want extra boss damage on. I know that I would still really, really like some healing, but... Doesn't seem like that's gonna happen. Would have been really nice if we didn't use our second life up already, but... You know. Not exactly the most talented of the game. But pick this up real quick and uh, use it. Okay, it looks like we got tons of stuff over there still. Decent amount of stuff behind us. What do we got up here? Chess? Yeah, it kind of looks like it. We got a decent amount of stuff following us, so we'll drop a cube. And big damage. See, just like that, you get everything grouped up, and then just turn around and open fire, preferably with your right click, because your right click just does an insane amount of damage. And even if it doesn't explode on them directly, those little, uh, the little static things that come out, those also do a decent amount of damage. It helps if it directly hits them, but it doesn't actually need to. Go ahead, drop a cube, pull some things in, let's go fishing. Pretty much with this primordial cube and the, uh, the secondary, all you're really doing is fishing for money, honestly. You pull them all in, you throw your secondary, kill a bunch, Tons of money. And on to the next one. Alright. Gamble again. Finally got something out of gambling. Well, I mean, we just did earlier too, but whatever. Cube's almost ready. And drop the cube. Go fishing. We didn't catch a lot on that one. That was kind of sad. Ooh, that's 4K for that, though. As much as I would like to open that, I don't think we're going to be able to afford it. Because I think this guy is pretty much just waiting over here until he gets enough, honestly. Which is fine. Stronger team means you're going to get further. But with that being said, if I do get the money first, I'm absolutely diving on that chest. Those legendary chests all whole ways got some good stuff. And I mean, he does have quite a few legendaries on his own. Wouldn't hurt him too bad to share a little. Let's see if we're going to catch anything. No. Just that one guy. Kind of sad. There we go. Should have waited on our cube, honestly. Cause that was a good one. Could have pulled all of them in. See, there might still be enough to pull some in. Nah, doesn't look like there's enough. We'll do it anyways, why not? Alright, we almost have enough. Super close. 300 more gold, come on.
Come on, five gold. There we go, we finally got something good. Adds an extra charge to your utility skill. That... That's really good if it's on like the engineer and stuff. I mean... The wall... I mean, I can do this. So that way they don't run away after I pull them in. So, I mean, I guess it's not a total waste. Really would have liked something better, though. I guess that's all he was waiting on, honestly, was that... Was that, uh, chest, and when I got it, he didn't want to wait any longer. Which is fine. Go ahead and throw this cube out, see what we catch. Those walls actually are helping out a lot more than what I thought they would. Wasted most of that flamethrower on the wall there. It just gets really sketchy to get up close with this guy, so I'm, I'm trying not to get closer than what I have to. Oh, oh. Let's go ahead and get out of here if we can. We may end up dying. Oh, barely got out. Let's go ahead and chill up here for a second. Get some health back. If only we had gotten more healing. This is the one thing holding us back right now. Because we got the damage. Damage is there. I mean, we can always use more of it, but for the most part, the damage is there. It's just the healing. We're really, really lacking in that department. Go ahead and go fishing. Pull some stuff in there. I know that guy's kind of carrying right now, but really not much I could do, in all honesty. I mean, I can do that. But the second they focus on me, I'm out. Two each? Or not? Oh well. Squeaky chair. I mean, we're doing decent. Could be doing better. But not doing terrible. Other than the fact that our partner here is 100% carrying the team right now. In my defense, though, they got some pretty good items. Oof, oof. Calm down, bro. Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, we are lacking in mobility and healing. Let's see what we can get out of these chests if we can afford them yet. Enemies drop health orbs. I mean, technically, yeah, that, that heals. It's just looking for more direct healing. The blocks are nice, too, though. 
I need to get the item. Can't remember what it is, but it gives my uh, my Q item uh, more uses. That way, I don't have to just use it once and run. Let's go ahead. This may be a bad idea, but screw it. Why not? Go ahead and run back here. Drop our cube. that I know that fungus is technically healing but you got to hold still in order to get it to kick in and I just don't see us holding still very much especially with how much we're getting hit now no thank you holding still is not really an option at this point another chest down there ah screw it we'll go for it Teddy bear, that's definitely worth it. See, we're getting geared. It took us a little bit, but we're we're getting there. Still cannot find any good healing, but it's whatever. Let's go ahead and grab that goat hoof. Move a little faster. Pull all these guys in. Pretty big damage going on there. Alright, I know I saw another chest somewhere, I just I don't remember where I saw it. Probably behind me in all honesty. We're 100% going to pick up this healing drone because if we can't find any healing skills, we should at least get some drones that can do it. Even though they die very fast. <laughs> like very, very fast. The squeak when we block the jump damage or the fall damage. There's a chest out here. Thankfully, it's not open. Come on, healing. I'll take it. More damage. The more we can spam that secondary, the more like area of effect damage we can do. And I am all for that. Ah, uh, screw it. We'll go ahead and go fishing. Was a little short on that one, but it's all good. Let's see what we can catch this time. Like I said, with the primordial cube, it, it's literally like fishing for money. You just pull in a bunch of those small trash mobs, hit them with your secondary, and a bunch of money. Kind of like that. Alrighty, got a little too cocky with that one. Probably could have gotten hurt quite a bit. Really surprised we didn't it in all honesty.
Go ahead and get the hell out of here. Wait for our cube to recharge. Man, my man's over here absolutely shredding. That one hurt. Yeah, ouch. Get the hell out of there. Not even gonna sugarcoat it. That hurts so bad. Now we got another boss. Well, this is not looking all that great. Most of our healing drones are now gone. some of these ads and get the hell out and heal oh man our, our teammate actually got downed that's not good We have the damage to do it, but I I don't think we have the healing. As sad as it is to say. Oh, that was a waste. Behind us, too. That ain't good. It's about to be just us that it's focusing on, too, because our beetle guard died. This may be the end for us. Let's see, though, maybe. I mean, that is hitting. There's still a small chance. And our beetle guard's back, so... I mean, we, we do have a chance still. We don't have a good chance, but we do have a chance. Oh, we just missed all of those, didn't we? Luckily, though, this guy's primary and secondary go pretty far. Our beetle guard's gonna help us out a little. See if we can throw that down there, suck up some of those ads. Don't 
Don't die on us now, Beetle Guard. You're the secret weapon here, bud. If you keep dying on me like this, we are definitely not going to make it. Alright, big damage and run. Come on, run. Probably isn't the most exciting episode, seeing me run around in circles here, but it is necessary. There we go, Beetle Guard. Oof. That one hurt. Come on, we can do this. Maybe. I don't know, maybe not. I keep going back and forth. I need my beetle guard. Oof. Are you guys not right now? There we go, Mr. Beetle Guard. You're back. Now let's do this. Oof, big damage. Run, run, run. Maybe, just maybe, we can get away far enough and snipe again. Now we're doing a little bit of damage. Yeah, Mr. Beetle Guard's back. Getting close. They're gonna reach. Nope. Woo. And now they're angry. Alright, time to get out of here. I know when to call it. I definitely was not gonna be winning that one. Not with that many guys coming at me. The name of the game here is make sure Mr. Beater, Mr. Beetle Guard stays alive. All right. Let's see if we can get up here on this cliff again. Pretty much just gonna have them follow us between cliffs here. Oof. That got sketchy. Alright, those little beam things hurt quite a bit.
But we're very close. Let's make it for a long episode. I'm hoping we make it. I mean, we have the ability to make it, that's for sure. We just cannot mess up. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt real bad. Mm. Can't get hit again, that's for sure. Oof. That hurt. Nope, get off the cliff. Just need to heal up. I was actually gonna hit. Nah. I think those de rendered. They're too far away. Those are gonna hit though. One down, nice. One more. Just one more. We can do this. Which one? It's this one right here. That one right there. Where's the boss? Where's the boss? I may have just messed up here. So I got a lot of them closing in on me. My beetle guard isn't going to be alive forever. Uh, he definitely is not going to be alive forever. Man, he's getting shredded down there. Group all them up and get the hell out. We are doing some heavy damage to him, though. Close. It's only got 5,000 health. Oh, super close. Are right, we going to get it? Oh, come on, 500 health. Two hundred health. Really? Eight health? There we go, we got it. Now we just gotta make it up back over there. Make it back over there and teleport out. We can do this. That was insane, but we did it. My heart is just a going right now. Feels like it's about to beat out of my chest. I was so freaking close. Hey, the other guy stuck around too. He didn't leave us. It's pretty cool of him. Looks like he had some faith in us too. Buy a chest while we wait. A little more healing. I mean, not that much, but still. Anything's better than nothing at this point. 
But we just need mobility and healing. Like, in a really bad way. In all honesty though, I'm going to say uh, Mr. Beetle Guard was MVP there. Because he was the best meat shield ever. <coughs> Provided the greatest distraction I could ever ask for. Okay, yeah, that's open. I was going to say, really? There's an unopened chest right there? But we made it. I don't know how we made it. I honestly have no clue how we made that, but we did. Like I said, this guy puts out some serious damage. It's just, he cannot take a hit at all. So you're definitely going to want to be careful on levels that had the little jellyfish and stuff because jellyfish definitely put a hurt on him. Wait, did he buy that? Okay. He bought that. I didn't. Which is fine. I had to do it. I had to. Had to risk it. Alrighty. You know what? We'll go ahead and do that. No! We died to a trash mob. It wasn't even the boss. That's what happens when you get too cocky. I'm hoping this guy can get it, but I'm I'm not sure. He's taking some serious damage. Oof. Hey, I mean, in the last one, I think I dipped down to like 50 health at one point and still came back so maybe but it's getting rough though pretty much just hit and run hit and run hit and run overall though I, I really do like this class it just, it really lacks in mobility, and whereas the engineer lacks in mobility as well, this guy really, really needs it. Because he doesn't have a shield, he doesn't have turrets to take the aggro off him, it's just him. So he really, really needs the, uh, the mobility. What I've seen a lot of people do with this class is they will, uh, they'll stack up on the goat's foot thing. Allows them to move faster and stack up on the uh, energy drinks. Allows them to sprint faster. And when they do that, it, it seems to work for them pretty well, actually. Oh, man. Lasers are nasty. But, uh, yeah, as I was saying, it once they end up stacking mobility, it, it seems to do pretty well for them. And uh, if you had the option, I, I know it's a harder item to get, but if you had the option to stack up on the leech seeds, uh, like I was saying earlier, you just you constantly do damage with this guy. Oh, he died. But yeah, as I was saying, you're constantly doing damage with this guy. Like, all of his skills are just damage then damage over time uh, damage heavy damage and stuns all enemies around this one right here oh I didn't see it before enemies at low health are instantly killed and frozen that that's pretty cool um, but yeah even this does damage so you're always doing damage and damage over time with this character so if you have the option to stack those leeching seeds I would honestly go for it uh, like I said I know they're harder to find but if you come across maybe a chest that allows you to, uh, like one of the 3D printers that allows you to use them, I would by all means stack as many as possible.
uh, let me know in the comments if you guys enjoy this kind of content. Um, let me know if maybe watching me play has helped you understand the skills better or maybe understand how to build them. Uh, subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content. Uh, I'm putting out videos every day for you guys. Uh, and when you subscribe, it, it definitely helps me to understand what you guys enjoy, what you guys want to see more of. And uh, that'd be awesome. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you think I did good. And uh, without further ado, I've been Kastner. You guys have been killing Cast, And uh, I'll see you in the next one. See you.